Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AI Tay, for not letting my parents know that the event they were skipping was my wedding. I, 27F, have a younger brother, Mike, 21M. He's a man child and a mama's boy, always whining and expecting everyone to cater to him. Ever since he was born, my parents have been doting on him endlessly. He's not special needs or anything, just born, and my parents completely sideline me. My mom, 50F, especially went from being a loving mother to one of those boy moms you see mocked on the internet. My dad, 50M still showed me love and support, but was always too afraid to stand up to my mom. The only one who ever stood up for me was my grandpa, 76M, who always called my parents out and never liked my brother. He says I remind him of his late wife, my grandma, and we share a special bond, but he lives on the other side of the country, so I couldn't see him often. Mike knows our mom, prefers him and loves to rub it in my face. Because of this and his behavior, we've always been at odds. He's spoiled, a brat, and an awful human. I can't count how many times I got in trouble for things I did better than him or for things he framed me for. His only talent is football, and he won a scholarship to a nice college out of state. My parents didn't spend a dime on my education, claiming my fund had been used after a fire, only for me to find out years later that the money was given to Mike to buy a car and a house. In college, I met Lucas. He was the first person I was really drawn to there. Thanks to him and some amazing friends, I managed to move out of my parents' house. Now both Lucas and I are well known in our fields and have very good salaries. Now to the main issue. Lucas proposed to me a year ago. We are private people, so we didn't post it on social media. When I told my parents, they dismissed it with it, that's nice, I'm starting to think they didn't even listen to me. We wanted a nice but simple ceremony and reception with our friends and relatives. Lucas convinced me to invite my parents and brother, but they never responded to the invite. Whenever I visited and talked about my wedding, without mentioning it was a wedding, my mom would talk over me about my brother's accomplishments. I got fed up and told my mom about an unmovable event I was planning. She said they couldn't attend because my brother had a game that day and wanted them there. This favoritism didn't surprise me. They missed my ballet shows and both high school and university graduations for things about him. So, I decided to be petty. I told my parents that it wasn't a problem to miss this event, purposely omitting that it was my wedding, and didn't insist further. A few weeks ago, I got married. It was perfect. My family, Lucas' family, and our friends were all there, and we had a blast. My grandpa gave me away, and it was perfect. Relatives kept asking why my parents weren't there, and I honestly said they had my brother's game to attend. My grandpa was visibly angry for a while, but otherwise, nothing strange happened. After the reception, Lucas and I went on our honeymoon and were phone-free the whole time. But once we got back, we discovered a shitstorm. I turned my phone on and was bombarded with notifications, mostly from my mother and brother. Mike called me nasty names because one of my aunts posted wedding photos on Facebook, captioned with a dig at my parents for missing the wedding. The post went viral in their community, and they've been publicly shamed. My grandpa even visited my parents to shame my father, his son, to the point of tears. My father finally rebelled against my mom and is threatening divorce unless she makes it up to me. That's why my mom has been spamming my phone with insulting and then pitiful messages. Now I'm home with my husband, deciding how to handle this. Most of my relatives reached out to apologize for what I went through, but my mom's sisters and friends are belittling me for not telling my mom about the wedding. Personally I think she's just trying to save face, but I'm not sure. The latest messages from my parents seem extremely saddened and hurt for missing my wedding. Now my family is divided, the majority siding with me, my maternal aunts shaming me for hurting my mom's feelings, and my maternal grandparents insisting I forgive my mom. My best friends are telling me not to listen to them. TLDR, my parents have always preferred my younger brother over me and prioritized his events over mine. I got engaged and told everyone but they dismissed it. I sent a wedding invitation to my parents and double-checked, but they didn't respond. When I told them the date, they said my brother had a game they had to attend. I didn't repeat that it was my wedding and told them they weren't missing anything. I had my wedding and now my parents are receiving backlash from my relatives and community after my aunt posted a date at my mother. Edit, thank you so much for the feedback and love. It's overwhelming. I'm going to address the popular questions here. I did inform my parents about my wedding. I sent traditional paper invites to all my guests and was notified that all invites had reached their addresses. I did not receive any answer from my parents and Mike, a few very distant relatives, and some people on Lucas' side. I did reach out to all of them, true message to double check, and those who hadn't replied told me they couldn't come. I asked my parents and brother via text, but they didn't respond. I was left on read. 
Knowing them and given all the things I had to plan, I didn't bother insisting. I didn't repeat the date of my wedding because I had already been told there was my brother's game. Plus, every time I insisted on highlighting my celebrations to get an answer, I was always told that it wasn't that important and to not be pissy and a bother. Because some things were simply more important than me. At this point I think it's fair for me to not insist anymore. It's not worth the effort. I didn't keep my wedding a secret. I avoided telling my parents that it was my wedding to see if they would be interested in the slightest, but surprise surprise they weren't. Despite this, I did openly talk about my wedding with my aunts and uncles. My mother was in the room with us a few times when I discussed venues or dress shops with my aunt, the FB post one, but sometimes mom was on the phone, and other times she was just chatting with other people. She never paid attention. When I talked about it during reunions, she smiled and said, that's great dear, and then would change the subject. Radio silence on dad and Mike. I kept in contact with them, because all the times I tried to go and see in the past years, I've been harassed. I tried after my high school, bachelor's and master's graduations to which they never bothered to show up for reasons involving my brother. Every time I was shamed for daring to turn my back on family by my parents, my brother, my maternal aunts, and my maternal grandparents. I think the turning point here is that all those times, Lucas wasn't by my side, we started dating a little after my last attempt at going and see, and now that I have him here, I feel more confident in my stance. But before that, I wasn't this confident. As I already stated, all my paternal side lives on the other side of the country, and wasn't aware of how they treated me, I did try to expose my parents once at 14. My aunts, uncles, and grandpa reprimanded them, they faked being sorry, and then once home, I got the beating and gaslighting of my life for lying. After that, I kept in contact regularly with my paternal side, but omitted my parents' abuse out of fear, which still haunts me to this day. Only grandpa knew, but he was always threatened to be alienated from me if he tried anything. My parents and I are not from the same city, I live in a city an hour's drive from my parents' small town, and they don't know my new address because once, my brother tried to break into my apartment to steal some cash, and my mother backed him up, claiming that siblings share their goods. Now I'm moved, and I'll be sure not to tell them where I live. My parents didn't buy my brother a car and a house before he even started high school. They bought him a car for his 16th birthday, and a house near his college when he began freshman year. They didn't spend the money from my fund right away, they just lied to me to use it later for my brother keeping it stored for later in the meantime. To those who believe my story was fake, I want to say that I'm happy your family life is better than mine, to the point of thinking of my reality as a fantasy, but I'd appreciate it if you stopped harassing me in DM, claiming that I'm writing a fake story for attention. You are not forced to read my story, or think it's true, but I think keeping the smallest amount of decency would be nice. Oh, and before diving into the update, let me clarify a few things. Yes, the invitation specifically stated it was a wedding. No excuses. My maternal side of the family didn't come to the wedding. Most of my relatives are my dad's siblings and cousins who didn't cut ties with me when I tried to expose my parents for their abuse. I haven't invited any aunts or cousins on my mother's side because they've always been nasty and have a tendency to gossip. My grandpa is my dad's father. Update. I've been meaning to update you all for a while now, but everything has been crazy and we had to sort things out first. Thank you so much for the love and support. Lucas and I read through your comments and felt blessed for the encouragement and suggestions. A week after my post, we contacted our attorney to see if there was a way to keep our address hidden from my parents in case they started harassing me. Luckily, given that we live in a private, gated complex, we're safe from unexpected guests. I reached out to my paternal aunts and uncles and explained the situation. They were disgusted but happy I confided in them. They offered to house us for a while if things escalated. Some even offered to help us if we ever moved closer to them. I felt truly grateful for having them in my life. I decided to go and see with my parents for good. Luca's family fully supports me, and they even invited me to spend Christmas with them. We agreed, but before we left, we had a long discussion about our future and boundaries. Lucas is my rock, and I'm so thankful for his support. My grandpa called me multiple times to make sure I was okay. He offered to help with legal fees if needed, and even suggested I get a restraining order if my parents kept harassing me. I'm considering it but haven't taken steps yet. Now, about my parents. My dad contacted me first, apologizing for everything and admitting he had been a coward. He promised he was divorcing my mom and wanted to rebuild our relationship. I told him I needed time and would consider it after the divorce was finalized. He seemed genuinely remorseful and agreed to my terms. 
My mom, on the other hand, was relentless. She kept sending messages, alternating between insults and pleas for forgiveness. I blocked her on all platforms. Then she showed up at my workplace, causing a scene. Security escorted her out, and I filed a report. My HR was understanding and supportive, assuring me they'd take action if she returned. Mike, surprisingly, stayed quiet after his initial outburst. I think my grandpa gave him a stern talking to her. He's still living off my parents and hasn't contacted me since. As for the viral Facebook post, my aunt refused to take it down despite my mom's demands. It seems the post garnered support from other relatives who weren't aware of my parents' behavior. It's been shared multiple times and my mom's reputation has taken a serious hit in their community. She's facing backlash from her friends and distant relatives. We're still dealing with the aftermath, but I feel lighter. Cutting off toxic people, even family, has been liberating. Lucas and I are focusing on our future and the wonderful family we're building together. Thank you Reddit for the support and advice. It's been a tough journey, but I'm hopeful for better days ahead.